Hey, so thanks for sending along the data log. It was definitely helpful. So here's what we found out. It's happening. Um, so we have about a, maybe a 30 second data log here. And we're going to look here. We're just starting the engine up. RPM is 573. Our target lambda is 14.7. Obviously, we don't have any fuel in the system right now. Um, and we weren't data logging base fuel amount, but we'll be able to talk about it here. We can see that it's going to be down here around the 30, upper 30s to 40 or so percent of volumetric efficiency. Now, the base fuel table has some corrections that go along with it. One is for coolant temperature, and another one is going to be just what we call a post-star correction. It's just the amount of fuel that's added and slowly detracted from over the course of a, maybe a 30-second window that's just used in most of these standalones to um, help the engine get started. So as we're watching the data log go, keep our eye on uh, post-star fuel correction. Let's get the data log running here. Okay, engine is about to start. Engine started now. We can see our AFR is just a little bit rich on the target, but that's natural for us beginning here. Our post-star fuel correction is 16.1% and it's slowly going down and there's a coolant temp correction. So all of these things are impacting this. Let's pause it for a second here. Running at about 1,000 RPM. You know, again, just slightly rich of the target. Uh, nothing, uh, no O2 feedback is going to kick in here yet because we haven't reached the um, critical point in time when that would kick in. Um, but slowly our post-fuel start correction amount is decreasing, as it should. What's going to happen is, as we get further and further into the data, this amount's going further and further down. Then we're going to reach a point in time right here where it's down to 8.5%. You know, we still have this 17.2% added in for the coolant temp, which is 94 degrees. Um, but now we see right here we're starting to lean, right? We're at 15.3 on that 14.7 target. If we're watching the graph here, it's just going to actually completely lean out. Let's see if we have time to pause it. Yeah, and here we go. Now we're up to 16. Point four, we're still running. What's going to happen next? And again, our correction is down to 5.6 percent. Let's run a little bit further. 16.4, still running. And now we're starting to die out because we've leaned out. We're at 18.8, 633 RPM, and the correction is down to 3.9 percent. So basically, what's happening is here is we're leaning out because we're losing that post-star fuel correction that it was using to keep the engine running at that point in time. So the corrective factor for us is going to be just to increase the fuel map and on a general basis by the amount of percentages that we're adding in, both for this post-star correction and the uh, coolant temperature, and we'll get that in place.